Hello everybody, my name is Tobani Vumindaba. I am Mutlali Muzani. And this is... Refining Perspectives. Welcome back to another episode of your favorite, favorite talk show uh, on Channel 260. We are here again to bring you another perfect and signed, sealed episode of Refining Perspectives. Last week we spoke of freedom yes bro. are we really free yeah, bro, yeah. and today we are continuing with that beautiful mm, conversation mm, mm. so when i'm really uh, i want you to sit tight yeah, call yeah. your friend yeah. call your brother your sister and don't forget if you missed last week's episode yeah go find it go find the channel on youtube it's called refining perspectives so stay tuned after the break we'll be back with you Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, today we're having another interesting conversation and last week yeah, yeah, we bro. spoke of the, the, the conversation, are we really free? Yeah, yeah. And today we're continuing yeah. in that line of thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. but taking on the topic, yeah. response ability. ability. And, 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 and I, I want you to think of this. You look in the society today, yeah. politically, yeah. You look at the economics, yeah, yeah. especially now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for me, bro, I don't know, maybe even the view at home or yeah. you can agree with me. Mm. There is a feeling mm. of so much hopelessness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and what we're talking about today yeah. is responsibility. Absolutely, bro. Yeah. And, you know, I always start the conversation off with asking you a, qu a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the cause of so much lack of hope yeah. in our society? And yeah. how does that even tie into the conversation we're having today, today. when it comes to responsibility? Hey, bro. Um, one of the reasons why we started Refining Perspective was uh -huh. because we looked at the information that is circulating out there. Mm -hmm. And we realized that the information that's circulating out, out there mm. is major majorly mm. negative mm -hmm. and it's demoralizing mm. it's demotivating uh -huh. um it it really speaks the end times mm -hmm. and when people sort of internalize the information that's out there mm. it really strips them away of hope and yeah. it strips them away of the desire to make meaningful change and impact mm. into the world right yeah so we decided to have this show so that we can be able to refine mm. you know certain concepts that's why we're actually talking about what we're talking about and today. maybe even along the way as we yeah. refine you know certain perspectives to debunk yeah certain myths. ideas yeah. and yeah. myths that are you know circulating yeah. as yeah. the truth yeah. yeah you know and i and i think that's that's a very important point yeah. that you yeah. are making yeah. when it comes to even what we are talking about yeah. today because we're inundated with so much information and we touched on this yeah, yeah. in the previous week yeah. yeah that one of the things that we have been inundated with yeah. Yeah. is so much information and so much knowledge when yeah. it comes to our rights yeah yeah but not the responsibilities <laughs> Hmm. And I think then that comes with us trying to understand or ask ourselves a fundamental question of we are 25 years into democracy, democracy. or 26 uh -huh. years into democracy. Are we really free? free. Hmm. Political freedom, economic freedom. Hmm. You know, it's very important for us to note those things because those things determine, mm -hmm. you know, or sort of are able to measure hmm. our 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 responsiveness, mm -hmm. you know, to what's happening around us. Mm -hmm. Because our responsiveness to what's happening around us is only a reflection of our responsi responsiveness, responsiveness. <laughs> with what's happening within us. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, I think... Yeah, sure, yeah. You're, you're, because what you've, you've just said there, mm. it, it kind of comes back and then points the finger at me. Yeah, exactly, exactly, <laughs> you know? exactly. Because you're saying, Goti, our responsiveness yeah. is determined, yeah. our responsiveness to everything that is external yeah. is, is determined by my responsiveness to 
within me yeah, well, yeah. how how responsive and how responsible yeah. am i yeah. with myself yeah. and perhaps you, because you've touched on the fact that um, there's, there's 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 political freedom and there is uh, 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 economic freedom yeah, yeah. and i'm just thinking because even when we started just now we said that there is a there's a state of lack of hope yeah absolutely because we look at our politics yeah, yeah. and we look at so much corruption yeah, yeah we look yeah. at you know the the economy yeah, going yeah, on a decline yeah, yeah, yeah. and many of us yeah. especially even as young people we yeah. feel as if <sighs> what I, am i going to do what can i do manzel and ingena to the system as yeah, well yeah. and i think then that would speak to exactly what we're talking about today responsibility yeah. and just before we get ahead of ourselves yeah, yeah. i just want us to read the the definition of, of the term responsibility it reads as follows yeah the state or fact of having a duty mm. to deal with something or having control over someone yeah. number two says the state or fact of being accountable yeah. or to blame for something mm. Mm. now i'm just thinking about that because mm. you said that my responsibility and yeah. responsiveness towards yeah. everything that is going on yeah. externally yeah. Yeah. will be determined yeah. by my responsiveness and level of responsibility that yeah. I take towards myself. Yeah. Yeah. Now here there's a word that says being accountable yeah. or to blame for something. Yeah. You know there's a culture when we shall and yeah. I don't know if you will agree yeah. with me. Yeah. Esikula kuyongo, yeah. where we barely take responsibility yeah. for anything. Yeah. Yeah. If there's anything that is happening that is wrong, yeah. it's someone else yeah. to blame. Yeah. Absolutely. And this comes to our yeah. own lives. Yeah. 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 And perhaps this is the reason why then we're feeling so hopeless. Yeah. Yeah. Because the culture of taking responsibility for our own personal lives, as in Kela Anga Londole, we yeah. always have people to blame. Yeah. And yeah. and kyongo the world that we are living in we are able to blame people yeah, because yeah. indeed there's so much that's, cool that's well. going wrong yeah, yeah, yeah. we look at politics mm. they are corrupt yeah, they're doing yeah, wrong yeah. We, we look at big companies yeah. they are causing global warming yeah, yeah. but how can we change things yeah. if we fail to start with in ourselves, ourselves and take responsibility yeah. and bro you know with what you're saying mm -hmm. it, it really speaks to the fact that like the word responsibility mm -hmm. is response mm -hmm. ability mm -hmm. we've mentioned this here that it's actually indicative of your ability as a human being to respond mm. now we are not saying that now it's impossible to respond to societal issues uh -huh. without responding to your issues mm. but now we're trying to say that the lens that you'll be using mm -hmm. will be quite corrupted Uh -huh. yeah, how you respond to societal issues mm. will be you know skewed and not aligned with who you really are uh -huh. yeah, well, I, I, am i making yeah, sense yeah. so you find that's why you'll find a lot of people saying that the people that were bashing politics uh -huh. ne, they when they go into politics they find themselves proponents of the very same the systems same that they uh -huh. were against mm. yeah, well, so you ask yourself what does that or what makes that possible uh -huh. and that's the fact that they became beneficiaries now of the system so now you'll find that you only stand for a cause uh -huh. because it's you are under privilege and under benefit yeah, yeah. but the moment you're in the position of privilege because I, I, I affect that which that's why we find so many young people that have started social movements uh -huh. but they've ended up being captured uh -huh. right into these corrupt systems mm. because now you'll find that they, they were not in this for compensation uh -huh. right but because compensation was availed uh -huh. and they were not sure about who they themselves. were and they had not taken responsibility of themselves first Because now, here's the thing, Toban, we're mm. not ranting here, we're just saying, ne? once we understand that we are free, uh -huh. we need to understand that we are not alive for our own benefit, mm -hmm. but we are here to impact and empower the lives of other people. Mm -hmm. Now, when as Mutlali, I start standing for a social cause because of my individual interests, mm -hmm. I then become counteractive towards the same cause that I'm standing for. And perhaps, bro, then, Gengokulendo, it says, how dare you go and try to solve a mega problem when you uh, can't deal with, with a micro problem yeah absolutely absolutely because jordan peterson usually puts it like mm. this if 
you have a problem with global warming but you can barely clean your room yeah. then keep quiet yeah. there's yeah. no use and yeah. that doesn't mean that the world is not inundated with so much yeah. problems that are at a large yeah. scale yeah. but how pompous can we be but Tom, in living, our thinking we're living in a, in, a, in a generation whereby i can just tweet uh -huh. against a major company uh -huh. that took 200 years to build uh -huh. and I'm only 20 years old yeah. and that tweet can be retweeted by 20,000 people then I can think that my voice is way important uh -huh. than other people's voices which comes back exactly to the point that I'm making how pompous can we think of ourselves yeah. to be yeah. if I can't deal with a small nyana problem yeah. to think that now I can be able to go and articulate and solve big scale problems yeah. Yeah. I'll probably fall flat yeah. in my stomach uh. or because I, one thing that i've understood in life yeah. bro yeah. you know in this short period of yeah. time is that yeah. In small things yeah, because yeah. you get to be trained yeah, there because now yeah. what I've seen what we have become yeah. especially as young people yeah. about to have funny instant solutions yeah, yeah, to big yeah, problems yeah, because yeah. we failed to even yeah. understand what you know even small problems they need time exactly, they need exactly. us to sit down to think to apply our yeah, minds yeah. and then be conscious and intentional yeah. Now, if we have failed to solve small problems, yeah. if we have failed to fix our room, yeah. and then we think that we are going to end global warming, yeah. even the solutions that yeah. we are going to bring really... will be very detrimental. Yeah. No, absolutely, bro. And just before we jump into the break, I just uh -huh. want to emphasize the fact that here we're talking about response ability uh -huh. and how that when we say that there is freedom mm -hmm. we need to be able to interrogate what do we mean when we talk about freedom mm -hmm. there's political freedom there's economic, economic freedom. freedom have we actually actualized those two things in our generation uh -huh. and i think in the next uh, segment, we, the segment mm -hmm. we'll be talking more upon those things wow bro and, and just before we, we go to to to, yeah. to 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 the short break perhaps maybe the question would be yeah could it be yeah that we are not tapping into the economic freedom yeah that we could have yeah now that we are under the supposed yeah freedom yeah of not being under slavery mm, mm, mm. but the party. problem mm. that is standing before us mm. is because we are failing to take responsibility <laughs> so we are missing out yeah, yeah. on something that we could have yeah. but we don't have it yeah. because we fail to take responsibility well i want you to think about that we're going to take a break and when we come back we're going to continue with our conversation take your notebook and when you come back come back with us so bro mm -hmm. after that big question i had to take a cup of water okay <laughs> i want to confess in front of you guys <laughs> that i had to go and drink a cup of water to really process what you were saying and i guess what you were saying mm. is quite controversial as well <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i know i know we always have conversations like this that's one uh -huh. of the reasons why we are here um we talk about things that are uncomfortable Comfortable. for people mm -hmm. to talk about um but what you're saying why i agree with what you're saying bro is the reason that we have inherited a mindset mm. of messianic thinking mm. from our you know parents generation past yeah mm. and the generations past because for them it was always about one person uh -huh. that led a liberation movement mm. or a revolution mm. and then that one person in that one person lied the hope of yeah. all those people right and then that would speak to the reason why today we're so hopeless because that one person that we have put there yeah. as the messianic leader. Yeah. We see them disappointing us now. And then when they disappoint, we lose hope. We lose hope. Because our hope was in a person. In a person. Or in our, our hope was externally. Uh -huh. yeah, wanna, we, we, were, we have projected our hope yeah, externally yeah. rather than it keeping coming, it within, yeah, within ourselves. Us. Yeah, within mm. ourselves. And I think then, bro, that speaks to a lot to do with the fact that now 
what we were talking about freedom mm -hmm. um, of you know being able to be yourself mm -hmm. being able to be confident in who you are mm -hmm. but now today we are talking about the responsibility that that freedom comes with mm -hmm. and we are saying that responsibility has a lot to do with empowering yourself mm -hmm. Toban, when you don't empower yourself you always seek for other people to, to give you, you what to give <laughs> what you don't have and as a result you will never see yourself as a contributor you will always have the mindset of someone who's a receiver you're going to be a victim yeah you'll be a victim all the time you and you'll you you are easily victimized if you don't take responsibility of yourself absolutely because you won't empower yourself absolutely and if you are not empowered yeah. you're always seeking for things externally yeah, yeah. and maybe that is why then we even today yeah. have political parties yeah. that are corrupt to the yeah, core yeah, but, but uh, yet they still continue to have majority. votes and the people are still holding on to the idea of yeah. those parties because they find themselves because you know, you know, you know what are the mechanism, mechanisms and systems that prosper in such uh, political cultures uh -huh. there it is transactionalism mm -hmm. where there is what is called a patron client relationship uh -huh. where someone you ex you give me a vote mm -hmm. and i give you a job yeah yeah well now you are and, exchanging and, and, and that very same freedom that that you are supposedly have. Yeah. Uh, coming to even what we said last week about uh, the, the quote from Adox Huxley, which there's coming a time where people are going to freely exchange mm. their liberty mm. for something. And I'm just thinking about this and maybe it's going to be controversial, but think that take this in, into the context of today. Yeah. Currently, you find that people are not willing to vote differently because they are afraid to hands are lose grant yeah hands are lose and as fast yeah yeah and number one yeah that comes from a place of lacking to be responsible yeah. about informing yeah. yourself because yeah. once you say something yeah. like that that means yeah. you're not informed ah. You have yeah. not taken the most fundamental thing, and if information is free, yeah, yeah, you have that, not taken the responsibility to Tom's, be informed. You know, with, with that being said, mm -hmm. I mean, why I like this is because we don't have to always be always on par, but uh -huh. we have the same end, mm -hmm. you know. And perhaps then a viewer at home is saying, but no, 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 access to information is a privilege. Uh -huh. One, two, not only that, but the fact is that you know people who being able to take responsibility mm -hmm. is a privilege that's mm -hmm. what someone can be able to okay. argue yeah but, uh -huh. but now what we are perhaps trying to say here is uh -huh. to say that these political cultures they prosper through dwarfing people's mindsets mm -hmm. yeah but mm -hmm. through creating a culture of people that have follower mentality uh -huh. that's this the same way that corporates prosper through social media uh -huh. and influencer life mm -hmm. that's the same way that political exactly. parties prosper through dwarfing people people yeah so then we end up being a people that have our hope in people net but we uphold idolatry uh -huh. because there's this culture of dependency yeah. that is created we idolize people mm -hmm. we idolize lifestyles that are not our own mm -hmm. everything that we want to be of us is not really ours. ours and then that would speak to how then how much we really need to 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 get to the point where we understand the the importance especially now yeah, yeah. with this i don't think that there's a greater time where we need to understand the urgency that yeah. there is in us taking personal responsibility and bro perhaps that speaks to i i, I hold the view mm. that you are only accountable to what you know mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. there's a time for being ignorant and there's a time for knowing mm -hmm. ne? Do you get what I'm yeah. saying? So at a time where in your life you won't know something. Yeah. I, I wonder when you don't know. You can't blame I, I can't blame you. Yeah. But the moment you know something and you look away, mm -hmm. then you can go. That's where responsibility Ability and comes accountability in. comes mm -hmm. in, where you're able to account for what you know. Mm. Now, what we are also encouraging the viewers to say is that listen. You won't wake up and know everything, uh -huh. but make your life be a, a, a journey of lifelong learning. Learning, uh -huh. where you tell yourself that okay, I'm going to teach myself. Mm. What does my freedom mean? Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Because once you start to understand freedom, Toban, mm. you understand that you have a responsibility. Mm -hmm. I think both of you and I understand that yeah. that we have a responsibility to empower ourselves mm -hmm. so that we can be able to contribute to the lives mm -hmm. of other people. If we don't read. Mm then we have nothing to speak. We have nothing to speak, but now we are at a time. And again, this is where you find Ugoti. 
really we are in a system because we're in a time where voices are, amplif- are amplified yeah but the need and the importance to actually feed yourself yeah. as you said yeah. if you don't read then yeah. you can't speak yeah now in a good one I forget about reading. Yeah. Just, Just speak. speak. Yeah, yeah. And now what that does, it spreads a lot of false yeah, ideas yeah. and it becomes now a yeah, cycle because yeah. people who don't have anything to yeah, say yeah. are speaking yeah. and then they are voicing out uninformed, yeah. you know, information. That ends up crippling the very same people exactly. that were meant to be. And then go with yeah, that cycle. Nam ke ngokum to who's uninformed, who doesn't take yeah, time to read, yeah. I then go out and yeah. speak and then yeah. someone else who yeah. doesn't do the same thing and then it becomes that vicious cycle mm. where you find that almost the whole society is ganging up on one thing which is entirely in the different direction yeah. and umbukele uh, kai i think would agree with us so this is where we are today yeah, yeah, that is yeah. where we find you know it, 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 it trends yeah. that are not so um admirable yeah catching on quickly yeah 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 just because umdo one was able to speak out to yeah. our viewer and then it blows up everywhere everywhere on a large scale yeah. but when it comes to things that actually matter yeah, yeah, you develop. find that there's so little uh, amplification of those voices yeah. because we caught this vicious cycle that we have caught our we are caught in yeah, right now yeah. and perhaps bro as we are about to close off yeah yeah what what are some of the things yeah that i can do yeah to start to be able now to take responsibility yeah in my life yeah. and what are the benefits yeah of that for me yeah i, I would say one of the greatest things yeah. about taking personal responsibility yeah you know for your life for yourself yeah it sets you free yeah it gives you peace yeah because see you will always have someone to blame yeah there will always be something yeah. wrong externally yeah yeah it's true but that's true you will always be powerless yeah because you can't change anyone yeah, else yeah and sometimes the problem external is so big yeah, yeah. that you're going to feel hopeless yeah, yeah. now once you start to bring it back to yourself Within, yeah. you have control yeah. to a certain extent yeah. of yourself yeah, yeah. and a, a little bit of control of maybe the immediate things yeah. that happen around yeah. you yeah. so then you gain back because one yeah. of the most things that are frustrating is that feeling of yeah. you know having no control hey, well, yeah, that's yeah. what brings many people yeah. to a depression yeah. you know yeah. and the anxiety yeah. feeling as if my life is just spinning yeah. out of control yeah. but yeah. once you start if even sometimes when something is going wrong and as, instead of saying good it is because of umuhlal yeah what could i have done better yeah. so that yeah. even though ke mhlambe denza kuthi ngubuhlal next time ingenzeki ngolwahlobo And bro, perhaps also just to echo on what you were saying. Mm-hmm. For me, I would say the first, the departing point, mm-hmm. because those are the practical steps that you've brought, and mm-hmm. I really agree fundamentally with mm-hmm. them. I think for me, it's the perception that you have of yourself. yourself. Mm. You know, do you see yourself, you know, living your life from a place of worthiness? Do you understand the intrinsic value that you have? Mm. Because if you understand the intrinsic value that you have, mm-hmm. you will understand that you it comes as raw talent, yeah. it comes raw, and it is your responsibility to refine it, mm. to fine tune it so that people can experience you for the for for Ooh, for, for the wow. good, yeah, mm-hmm. the goodness that dwells within you. Mm-hmm. Now you will know that it's no longer external situations, no si- circumstances uh-huh. that determine how your day will be. Mm. or how you will show up but yeah. you will show up by the virtue of understanding who you are the mm-hmm. value that you have and what you have to contribute towards society wow. if there's anything tobani i want us to say that today we want you to understand that you are able and capable mm-hmm. to be a contributor in society yeah. you are not what is called a taker you are not you, just a cog in a system exactly uh-huh. you know you're not just here to receive and benefit mm-hmm. because that ends you and that makes you end up in the position of being a victim to mm. you are here to be a giver you are mm. here to be a a, a, a contributor 
contributor, mm. someone who adds value in the lives of other people. And you know that adding value in the lives of other people, you know that thing of a light, mm-hmm. a candle. Me lighting your candle won't dim my candle. Yeah. So even the, the and you can't light anyone else's candle if yours doesn't is, shine. Isn't shining uh-huh. exactly. So that's like what people say that you can't pour from an empty an container. Empty container. Yeah. yeah. So it's very important for you to empower yourself to one, so that also whatever inferiority complex that you may have, because mm-hmm. we're living in a society that upholds competition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, now an individualistic mindset. Mm-hmm. Now you will want to cooperate. You want to work with other people. Mm. You know, you'll be a better person, and mm-hmm. that's what we want to. Achieve want to obtain. achieve wow yeah. i just want to close it off with one of the i think very well known poems yeah. uh, by marianne williamson it says our greatest fear it is the light not our darkness that mm. most frightens us mm. our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate our deepest fear is that we are powerful yeah. beyond measures Absolutely. it is our light not our darkness that most frightens us we ask ourselves who am i to be brilliant oh. gorgeous talented and fabulous oh. actually who are you not to be you are a child of god your playing small doesn't serve the world there's nothing enlightened about shrinking so other people won't feel insecure around you yeah. we were born to manifest the glory of god within us it's not just in some of us it's in every, every one, one of, of us. us and as we let our own light shine we unconsciously give other people the permission to do the same as we are liberated from our own fear yeah. our presence automatically liberates others and in that note up until next time go Goodbye. serve your king <laughs>